there is a ton of vampire survival like games out there. They are easy to make, but this one is different. It's charming, super cute and made for cat lovers. And it comes with a bit of sad twist. So what made this special? The game is all about Kitty's final adventure. She and her friends fight the usual suspects like cucumber, vacuum cleaners and even water. Yeah, I get it, cats aren't scared of cucumber per se, but you get the idea. After all this, my YouTube is now full of cat videos. There is a ton to unlock, from new cats and better stats to new weapons and unique evolution paths for each of them. Look, games like this usually skip the story and throw you straight into a horde of enemies, but Kitty's Little Adventure is a bit different. Between bright, colorful stages, priority for this type of games, you will see short cutscenes that slowly reveal why it's Kitty Last Adventure. She's seriously ill and it's up to us to give her one last epic journey, a way for her to take on all her most annoying foes one final time. So yeah, I know it sounds corny, but this video is dedicated to Kitty and honestly all the cats we have loved and lost. Not reinventing the wheel here, but there are some unique twists. The game's short enough to play in a couple of hours, but to unlock everything and grab all achievements, you will need to spend a bit more time. Unlike in other games, there is no timer, you've got a wave counter instead. Each wave brings tougher enemies, and when you hit the final wave, it's boss time. After you beat the boss, you get another cutscene and advance to the next stage, keeping all your levels and gear along the way. Each run you start on stage 1, then jump to stage 2 and finally to stage 3 which has the game's final boss. Throughout you will find useful items like magnets that collect all XP on the map, hairs that give you a little HP boost, and cut coins for passive upgrades in the main menu. To max out these upgrades, though, you will need a horde of good amount. Quick stop, if you enjoyed this so far, like indie games, or want more reviews on hidden gems, don't forget to subscribe. I will keep making more videos like this for you. As for weapons, they are collectible items with multiple evolution paths, so as you will level them up, you get to choose how they evolve. Don't like your choice you are given? If you haven't unlocked the reload upgrade yet, pick up another item and try your luck again on the next level up. Core mechanic, destroy anything in your path. While most of these games feature zombies, aliens or some other typical enemies, here is much more cat appropriate. You've got balloons, blue ones, tough red ones, bat umbrellas, jump scare, cucumber. Yep, seriously. As you progress, things get weirder with enemies like storm clouds, rain droplets and eventually the ultimate foe, a dog that looks especially like the one from Tom and Jerry. Whether you all like gameplay or not, you can't deny Kitty's Last Adventure is adorable. The art style is hand drawn with a cardboard storybook look. Despite the bittersweet premise, it's a colorful, fun and family friendly. The music matches too, bright and cute, though the final stage does take on slightly sadder tone. I'm assuming that's because, well, it's her final adventure. Bugs? Didn't see any, which is great. To be fair though, this isn't the most complex game ever, so smooth gameplay isn't a huge challenge to deliver here. The family-friendly art style and straightforward gameplay make it perfect for a relaxed session or a kid-friendly game night. This game reminds me of the classic Flash games I used to play between classes or after school. So Kitty's Last Adventure feels different, its unique art style brings calm vibes and there is no visible time pressure, even if you lose, no biggie, collect some cat coins, buy passive upgrades and go again. While the art and simplicity are great, the core game mechanics stay pretty basic. If you are looking for groundbreaking changes to the genre, this probably isn't going to scratch that itch. For those who have played a ton of the survival games, it might even get a little repetitive. Collect items, level up and watch them auto fire at crowds of enemies. It's still a fun, charming little adventure, just maybe not a groundbreaking one. Oh, and game is currently on discount for a couple of few days in beginning of November. So, if you are interested in Kitty's last adventure, there is a link in the description for you. And hey, if you made this far, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content on new and cool indie games. Again, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.